Sale with MCSC Green Wheels and I'm here at home and uh, today what we're gonna do we're gonna strip down this uh, pretty beat up uh, it's a 95 rear end and we're gonna do what we do best we are gonna give it the MCSC differential treatment as you guys seen we did it to our 93 GT which we call Sergeant Reckless um, and uh, we recently acquired a 90 I mean I'm sorry an 85 four-eyed that is coming into us you'll see the video on that once we get it a couple days hopefully and it's a uh, it's got a little six cylinder in there so what we're gonna do is we know it's got the stock rear end and we're gonna go with the 31 spline axles you know and so why don't we just go ahead and start digging into this one now uh, basically we already start, took off an axle from here so I'm gonna show you guys basically the treatment that we're gonna go through kind of the process of what we've done to both our uh, 93 GT which we call Sergeant Reckless and KSD's rear end so kind of the process kind of goes gut it and then it'll go off the powder coating and once it get back once it gets back you'll see us go through the process of new pinion new carrier new gear new axles new seals and such and such so let's dig right in off these are your carrier bearings caps Move that out the way and we're gonna end up getting a few carrier bearing caps as well because we're gonna be changing all this out a lot of times to do the MCSC rear end treatment you don't need to change out any of this we like to always kind of beef up our things so we're going to go to 31 um and uh more likely uh we're also going to beef up the brakes of course so it'll require changing of the uh the brake uh, uh the brake caliper plate you know, we'll get to that in a minute but right now this guy should be able to come out nice and smooth now this carrier, this, uh, this differential has been sitting in the back. We picked it up about a year ago and uh, we just kind of used it. We were going to use it on some things and it just kind of sat there. As you can tell, it's completely rusty. Oof, that friction modifier. Before the removing of all the gears, always remember to remove the ABS sensor from the brake plate because then it won't allow you to just push this guy off. Let's get that that guy out here comes your axle and uh, we are no longer going to use these so I don't know Back here we're left, we got our spacer here, that's uh, either side, and our, our pinion. So we'll be back to remove him in a little bit. So right now what we're going to do, we're going to remove this uh, brake, uh, brake caliper bracket here. So along with uh, a couple of other things, for us as we're going this far already, we're going to go into powder coating, you know, we already pulled out the carrier, we're going to go with the bare gear bigger pinion you know and all that good stuff uh, new bearings and everything uh, we we usually uh, will be changing up the brake system as well too so we will be changing out what is the original bracket that looks like this and again this is a 95 rear end uh, for a Mustang and uh, we're gonna be changing it out to the SN95 bracket here uh, pick these up at LMR and what it's going to do, it's going to give you the ability to put on your uh, your uh, 04 Cobra brakes. Uh, so your calipers and the 11.65 rotors. Looks nicer. I hate that little 10 inch look. It looks pretty tiny and unfulfilling. So what we're going to do also, by getting this guy ready for powder coating, we're going to remove the uh, upper bushings up here for where the control arms are set. And of course, we're gonna end up changing those out too because as you guys know, the rubber ends up wearing out and then you get that dance play and the rear end never really sits flush to the ground. 
So we're going to go ahead and take these out. We're going to get this plate out. And uh, we're going to come back and take the pinion off. One of the downfalls of not having everything or not being at the shop is not having all your tools. So I want to keep a couple at home. I'll work with what I can. Yeah. So. Get in there, guy. Quite a bit of rust in these guys. Good thing we're going to get all this new or used when you used. We'll find it somewhere. I'll see. We can keep these two, so take that guy off. And there's a big difference with the stock to the uh, S95. Of course, you can see that it's got this big curve right here. And what it does, what it does to the caliper, it just brings it back a little bit. Not to be rubbing up against the the rotor. Okay, well, we have to let these guys soak up, and then uh, maybe I'll just bring back from the shop on a probably a bigger mallet to get those things off. I definitely don't have the uh, the socket that I need to take off the pinion nut, so I guess I have to bring that too. <laughs> One of the casualties of working at home. Anyways, so once we get the uh, the two bushings off and the pinion off, this bad boy will be ready to go uh, off the powder coating. And then uh, we'll get it back probably in a week. And we should be ready with all our internals to get it put back together and have it ready for when we get, you know, our little brown, our little beige uh, four-eyed. I uh, want to thank everybody on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Thank you for subscribing. Please keep watching. I hope we bring you the, we're trying to bring you the best content that we can. If you guys have any tips or information, man, please give us a call or uh, drop us a line or give us a like. I uh, want to thank everybody out there that uh, helps us out over here getting all these parts. And, uh, you know, stay, stay vigilant on your eBay buys and your, your uh, 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 PayPal buys and stuff. Uh, we're trying to do the same. We're trying to keep this one on a real big budget, real small budget, should I say. So thanks a lot, guys. Remember, subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos. We'll see you guys soon.